We have been raising chickens for about four years now. And um, initially we were feeding them a lot of store-bought feeds. And I grow a lot of sunflower and some other stuff too in the yard. And we were giving them that. And they were getting some kitchen produce and scraps. Um, now I have eight laying hens and they were producing maybe six eggs during the peak of the season and then they taper down to about four per day. And um, if you raise chickens, you know that that's not very good. Now, somewhere along the line, the YouTube algorithm got me to watch some videos on what to feed them, how to make your own feed. And essentially it boils down to feeding them a high protein diet to get them to lay better eggs. Um, so that's like sunflowers, sunflowers, oats, um, high protein grains, um, and also bugs, a lot of bugs. And now a lot of people have the ability to let their chickens free range, but for various reasons in my yard, I don't have that ability. So um, in order for me to get bugs to them, I have to be somewhat creative. And I have a compost pile that does get quite a lot of bugs. So um, what I have done is uh, I figured if I could get them bugs, I could give my chickens m more nutrient dense food. And also this would serve me to get the bug population in my garden beds down as I'm using my compost. So we took our kids kitty pool down, or we took our kids kitty pool that they have outgrown and we have repurposed it so that it will contain the compost that I want my chickens to scratch through and get the bugs. And um, this will help with their egg production and the quality of their eggs. And then I will say this, it's, this is a slow process, the way that we're doing it with one bucket at a time. It's pretty inconvenient, but um, I don't really mind the fact that it's inconvenient. I mind much more in the summer or in the spring when I put my fresh plant starts in and then um, half of them are getting eaten by bugs anyway, by pill bugs or earwigs, and that's much more inconvenient and frustrating.